the yield record was 160. The USDA came out of 165, plus they increased the harvested acres a little bit um, to give us a record crop without a no, record number of uh, acres, um, which happened two years two years ago. Uh, USDA's kind of taken a beating on this. Um, I guess whether they're right or wrong really believes whether you think farmers think 56 pounds makes a bushel or whether you think an old bushel basket filled to the brim makes a bushel. Um, I personally think farmers know that corn's 50, uh, 56 pounds a bushel. Um, could they be wrong? Yeah, they might be wrong. Uh, it could be higher um, or it could be lower. Um, and we'll find, find out more. It's a huge study. I'd say it's the, probably the most accurate information we have. If I had to hypothesize, do I think there's a slightly bigger chance of it being a little lower when we get to the end of this thing than a little higher? Um, I think so, but I expect we're in a bushel or so. Um, the report came out. One reason it made such a difference is 13.2, and the highest uh, trade had been thinking of was 13. Um, and of course, then the stocks were pretty high, but the stocks were not as were not out of the range out there. Uh, and we'll go through what happened. Uh, different uh, types of numbers changed. Um, the the biggest things that changed on this report is is planted acres were up just a tiny bit, harvested acres um, up a little bit. These are percentage changes, so they're not very big. The yield change was one of the biggest ones which increased production nearly uh, nearly two percent as you can see. Um, big increases from the year year before. The states here in blue are the uh, ones that um, were, were increased, were, were uh, good yields from compared to last year, and any ones that have one of these pound stars here um, were record yields. So as you see, states all across the country had it. Um, I, talk to people a little bit around the country and it's kind of like at least some of the people in Michigan. Now last year in the thumb you guys had an amazing crop so maybe you didn't think this year was so good. But if you look at this year we had 148 and as Jody showed you earlier we had 138. That showed what the rest of the state was given you guys had an unbelievably crop um, last year. So across the state as a whole we had it um, in a, in. Of course, I talked to the most people right around the, the Lansing area. Um, people went in and they were all getting 15 or 20 bushels an acre higher than they, than they thought when they pulled, in, pulled into the field. Um, yes, a lot of it's uh, a lower test weight. Most of it isn't too bad, um, but most of that's accounted for. So in Michigan's, and, and I'll look a little bit more going back five or six years in Michigan a little, a little bit here. Poor Illinois uh, didn't have a record and they were four bushels behind last year so they only had 175 bushels an acre. Um, see, who are the previous speaker leaving town, see, they're not doing as well. Um, <laughs> what, what were the biggest changes? Well, we're, I'm going to look at this and then I'll go to my balance sheet. Here's the biggest one we've already looked at. Uh, beginning stocks were left the same. Production was increased to 2%. But there's some other change you'll get to. You'll, you'll see that, and I'll talk about it, the feed use went up, projected feed use, um, food use industrial was basically left the same, ethanol use was left the same, exports were left the same, which some people are wondering about, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, and ending stocks were increased tremendously, and almost all because of the increase in, but not as much as expected because of the increase in, a pretty significant increase in use. Um, here was the previous record yield. It was in, in 2004. And what it just amazes me, and I'll, um, this was a record yield, but that year the record deal was in ideal conditions. I mean, you went across the country that year, Michigan did pretty well, but everywhere else the growing uh, situation was almost uh, perfect. Some of these years, lots of these years in here, the, the growing conditions weren't perfect, and we still had better yields in any year but this record year. And I would, I would find a person hard pressed to say that this year uh, conditions were ideal. What can this triple stack corn do if we have a nice good year? 
What would this, if, if we'd had this year here, with what we have just six years later, I'm not, you know, maybe it'd been 110, I don't know, but my guess is we could even uh, push the envelope a little bit further. Um, which, um, as we look at this use here, food, seed, and industrial use is growing. Almost all of that is, is, is uh, exports, but as you see, feed use has stayed about the same, that bottom one. It goes up and down a little bit. Um, just to get where most of it goes, we're, we're expecting over this next year to have a, about the same amount of beef production, um, but it's somewhat a little heavier. Uh, we're expected to have a, a this is where we want to change. We're, we're expected to have 2% less beef production, 2% less pork production. The poor hog producers have been get, bleeding since the summer of 2007. Um, they keep trying to cut back, so they cut back uh, sows 2% and they increase pigs per litter 2% each of the last uh, 18 months. Every quarterly report's been up 2%. It's hard to cut back that way. Um, I mean, I, I'm not saying they ought to go out and kill any pigs, but you know, it gets kind of it gets kind of rough. This last one says three percent, so we actually may start seeing a, a cutback, which is projected here. We're actually cutting back sows a little bit more. Now, increased pigs per litter has been happening for a long time. There's been like 17 straight years, but until the last 18, 19 months, it was going up a little less than a percent a year, which is amazing within itself. In the last 18 months, it's been a little bit higher. Uh, we might have a few more broilers. But overall, um, we're going to have less less uh, animals to, to feed. And the reason I bring that in is because you, you, I already stated that feed use went up. It went up 150 million bushels. Now, when you out of out of 5.5 billion, that's not a very big percent. Okay? How did they get that number? Um, well, this is the the production. This is stocks to date. How much is used up? Okay, that's how we figure out how much is being fed, uh, fed to animals. Um, we look at that, and basically what that number is saying here is that we're feeding a little bit more to livestock than we did previous years, but not a particularly high rate. Now remember, we would expect it to come down if you look at this year from 04 to 05, because this is, this is corn use, and of course we have 30% of all the corn use for ethanol to go to, go to feed. So you'd expect that number... But that's not a real big increase. Um, with corn, it, it is a little bit hard because feed use is feed and residual, so any air, air goes into, into feed use. So, um, and every year we have a really big crop. Um, it, it's easier to predict feed use by the size of the crop than it is to uh, do it by animal numbers in those years, although it's a combination is what we really use. Um, as we go down here then, as I talked, but this was this was increased to 150 from before. Um, obviously, it's more than that last year. Um, we start looking at it, feed use, and, and we expect ethanol to go up about this that uh, 500 million bushels, a little over 500 million bushels. Ethanol's been going up rapidly, as we all know, and as as I'll get to it again, and next year we expect it to be to be up here or so, and we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later, but it is important to know that the, the market uh, knows that it's going to keep going up. This is when the, what, what we have here is the returns, the blue is the returns above variable cost. Um, so th it's anything blue pays for fixed cost. Obviously this is when we we're play, paying for plants in about two years. Here's where we weren't paying for plants hardly at all, uh, though this is the capital cost here. Since, uh, since this summer, there has been money to be made in ethanol. Um, prices went way down of oil, and then they, they crept back up a little, a little bit. The market.